Hi everyone, uh, that's the video tutorial accompanying the article I just published on tilt shift photography, which is um, how you simulate uh, miniature. Uh, you take a scene that is uh, a normal scene uh, shot in the city or anywhere you, you shoot and you make adjustments in Photoshop which um, create an illusion and tricks the viewer into thinking that um, it is a, a small scale model. For this tutorial I'm using a photo that I shot at uh, the Barbican in London. Um, so as you see there is a slight elevation which is crucial um, to create the illusion. Um, and in the scene we have a taxi. So um, I'm going to, to modify this shot and uh, make it look quite different um, as you can see here um, into something that looks pretty much like a, a scale model. The trick um, to achieve this uh, this illusion is to tweak, uh, to, to fine-tune the brightness, the color balance, the contrast, the saturation, and also the depth of field, and that's achieved by adding some blur within the photograph. So the first step um, when you open the photo in, uh, in Photoshop, or whichever editor you're using, is to select the gradient tool. Um, the gradient tool is really very useful. Um, it allows you to make adjustments in a photo, um, but gradually, instead of just making a selection and applying the effect to that selection, uh, and there's just an abrupt, um, a clear mark, clear division between where you've applied the effect and where you haven't. Whereas with a gradient tool, you can really apply a gradual effect, which is much more natural and, uh, and what we're looking for. Once you have your photo open, you select the Gradient tool. And at the top left of your screen, select the fourth one, which is the Reflected Gradient Fill. Once the Gradient Fill is selected, uh, at the bottom left of your screen, select a Quick Mask. When a Gradient Fill is activated, a cursor resembling a plus sign will appear. You find your starting point for your gradient, then you click and drag the cursor to the end point of the gradient, and then you release the cursor. This takes quite a lot of trial and error, so just keep practicing until you're satisfied with the uh, gradient you've created. And press Q to reveal your selection. So now that we have our selection uh, revealed, uh, we're just going to go into the filter area of Photoshop and select a uh, lens blur to create the blur which is normally associated with macro photography or very close-up photography. Once the filter panel opens up for the lens blur, play a little bit around with the radius uh, which will increase or decrease uh, the amount of blur you're applying. And that again is a question of using your own um, discretion to select the right amount. I'd say this part um, is probably the most difficult. Once you master that, the rest of the tutorial is just uh, plain sailing. So now I've got my blur, I'm going to just remove the selection. And now the fun begins. So we're going to first play with the saturation by increasing the saturation to a sort of unnatural level uh, we create a bit more of an illusion that it is a toy that the whole thing is a model painted with uh, by the artist the next bit we're going to adjust is the brightness and the contrast so in order to create again an, an effect of uh, of model um, I like to increase the brightness, it just makes it look like you've got a lot of light over, you know, sort of ceiling light uh, over the model. And the contrast, again, you know, you play, play with it until you're satisfied, but I generally increase the contrast quite a bit again. It's already looking very much like a, like a model. Um, I'm going to crop the, the shot a little bit to focus a bit more on the uh, cab that's on the left. The last adjustment I'm going to make is on the color balance. What I want to achieve is a sort of uh, very cool light 
Um, so I'm going to increase the amount of cyan and blue uh, in the highlights, midtones and shadows. Um, that creates again an effect of being lit um, overhead by uh, neon lights, you know, the sort of industrial kind. And this is pretty much it. As you see, we've gone a long way from the original photo, which was just a, a shot of a, an urban scene. And now it looks pretty much like I've shot a, a model that had been created uh, in a basement, maybe. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, I highly recommend, if you haven't read the article that goes with it, to uh, click on the link in the description. Um, leave a comment if you've enjoyed it or if you have any suggestions or if you've yourself tried it. Uh, successfully uh, or not and um, I hope that also it'll inspire a few of you to try and be creative with your existing photos um, especially now that we're in lockdowns um, we need to find ways to be creative and use what we have available um, and not always dwell on what we don't have available so on that note uh, thanks very much for watching this and uh, yeah Post your, your results, tag me um, at Nicholas Gooden on Instagram, on Twitter, where, wherever you want to post them. I'd be very curious to see them.